and a section of women drawn from the informal settlements have come out to strongly condemn the inhumane nature from people whom they say posed an anti -government, as anti-government protesters but ended up assaulting women and children. Cecilia Lubanga tells us more. Wow, wana fight kivyao, but sisi wenye tuko chini, tunaumia kimaisha. Ki sisi nyo tunaumia, hiyo siku hata watu wengi ya wakukula. Mimi nilikujua tu kwa nyumba, nika katu wanapanga, nika kipepewa kila kitu. They were affected by the just-ended street marches. Children and mothers injured and lives lost. And even though the demonstrations were called off, they carry along the scars. They are the faces of social injustices mated on the lowly in the society in the just-ended anti-government protests. For some individuals, its destiny changed. For others, it will take them the longest time to restore the march that has been lost. This pushing mothers in the informal settlement alongside Haki Africa to bring to light the damage that has been caused. It is the mothers uh, in the informal settlements that are having their children in houses, children that were highly affected, people that were affected by the tear gas, by the violence. Till now, most of the damage and loss experiences in the informal settlements where all those protests took place is yet to be, is yet to be accounted for. Ross Akinyi Ocheng, a mother of a two-week-old baby, forced to nurse an ailing baby who was subjected to the tear gas smoke on Thursday last week. Now, on to matters education and